Starts are obviously, I mean, critical, and in this series in particular. What, what would you say the ingredients are for your team to a good start, to try and at least guarantee you'll have a good start? Um, intensity, focus, um, execution of details. You know, I think we don't want to be playing passive. We want to get at it. And I think the more we slow things down, it um, just doesn't work out for us. We want to be playing fast and tense, but being able to use our skill, and um, I think that's probably the biggest thing. Uh, Cam's contribution. Just wanted to know, you know, how confident you feel that you'll get what you need from your group tonight. I think guys are very focused and ready to play tonight. And, um, you know, obviously we're playing a, a very good opponent, LA Kings, and they'll have a lot to say with our, our success. But, um, yeah, I think the guys are very dialed in and ready to go. Coach, you guys have obviously had a lot of success on the power play. I'm wondering how much of what's happening is kind of structured, planned, and how much of it is players ad-libbing? I think you, as a coach, you cannot provide too much structure. They have to be making the reads and uh, decisions on the ice. Um, you can't draw up a play because if uh, the opposition stick is in another lane or the body's um, five feet higher or lower than what they anticipate, that play won't work out. So you can give them the structure, some guidelines, but ultimately they have to go out there and execute. And I think they've done an excellent job on reading what is available for them. And you look at all the, the power play goals that we've had, they all look differently. Um, but I think Glenn's done a great job of preparing the players on what to expect and trying to stay a, a step in front of them. Um, but um, yeah, the, the credit absolutely was the players making the plays. You've had a big advantage, obviously, on special teams. Uh, the last game called. Um, is there anything that you saw in that game that maybe your team can do a little bit differently to, you know, I guess, force the officials' hands to maybe call some more penalties, if, if you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, to do that, uh, to possess the puck more. If you're on the attack, if you're putting them in a vulnerable position that they have to um, reach in with their stick or defend in a difficult position, then you're in the opportunity to uh, draw some more penalties. And last night, or last game, I don't think we were in that position. Um, a lot of credit to LA. I think they defended us very well. But, um, you know, for us to draw more power plays, we just have to make more uh, more plays with the puck and uh, attack the net more. And the more you do that, more opportunities to go on the power play. Chris, um, we saw last night a couple of teams weren't, weren't able to close out series at home. I just wanted to maybe get your opinion on, you know, what makes it so difficult to win that fourth game? They always say that fourth game is the toughest to win. Well, I think, you know, last night, you know, so many of the um, series are they're very competitive. It's not like it's a, a favorite. It's not it's uh, ever an easy game. And for us, it's just coming to the rink, being prepared to put our best game forward, and hopefully that's enough to get the get the job done. Chris, your team's three and zero in the series when you score first this year, and ten and one over the last three years playing the Kings. Do you notice a significant difference in your team or how the Kings play when you score first? Um, I don't know if it's so much of them changing their game because they're down, or just the fact that you know in those games are how much more prepared we were to play. Our guys were going and, um, you know, obviously it's, it's much easier to play with a lead. And, you know, that's our goal tonight to score that first goal and hopefully we score it early. But, um, you know, how we play the rest of the game, I don't know, we don't really fluctuate um, if we're down or chasing the game. So we just want to stay within our structure as much as possible. So when you say it's easier to play the lead, is it just mentally? Because you're not as like, oh, my God, we got to get the next goal? Is, is that the difference? How do you feel it's easier when you have the lead? Um, I think the other team just pressing a little bit more. I don't think they really stay their structure and say, oh, we're going to get out of our 1-3-1 one, one, or defensive zone, we're going to do something a little differently. I think it just forces the other team to um, maybe make a more aggressive pass. And what happens when that happens is, 
you know, as long as we're in position, we intercept that pass and then we can play with the puck opposed to, you know, if they're a little more patient, they protect it and work, work down low a little more, spend more time in the defensive zone for us. I think it's just, um, yeah, I think probably the only thing that changes a little bit is their, um, whether you're winning or losing, your, your puck decisions.